How to make a light tray ceiling in Revit? Let's start. Open the Revit. Let's create a new family. Open metric profile. <coughs> okay. Next. Go to profile usage, select generic and change it to fascia. <coughs> Create a reference plane. Okay, dimension. Select the dimension. Create new parameter. Name it fascia thickness. Okay. Create reference plane. Draw a horizontal plane. Dimension. Select the dimension. Name it Fascia Height. Okay. Next, create reference plane. Draw a horizontal plane. Dimension. Select the reference plane. Select the dimension, create new parameter, name it ceiling thickness. Okay, next, create reference plane, okay, dimension. Select the dimension, create new parameter, name it light tray width. Okay, create reference plane, draw a vertical plane. Okay, dimension. Select the dimension, create, uh, select the ceiling thickness. Okay, one more. Create reference plane. Okay, dimension. Select the dimension. Create new parameter and name it fascia 2 height. Okay. Next, go to family types. Change the ceiling thickness to 60 millimeter. Fascia 2 height to 400 millimeter. Fascia height 150 millimeter. Apply. Fascia thickness 20 millimeter. And the light tray width, let's say 150 millimeter. Okay. <coughs> Next, create a line. Select the rectangle, draw a small rectangle, one here and one big rectangle here. Okay, next select align, select this reference plane, align, line, lock, align, select 
line lock select reference plane line lock select reference plane line lock okay lock select select lock select select lock select the reference plane select the line lock okay done next save the profile uh, save it to desktop and name it to light tray profile <coughs> Save. Okay. Next, go to file. Let's open a project. Let's open the test fifty one design. Open. Okay. next uh, let's go back to family load into project and close okay go to first floor ceiling plan okay then go to roof so pit select the generic duplicate okay select rename name it <coughs> 4.5mm fiber cement board or FCB on metal framing or metal frame okay select double click go to structure insert insert okay okay move up then select this one change it to finish one okay thickness let's make it point zero zero five meter or five millimeter okay select the materials okay go to material library select the AEC materials <coughs> okay look for the gypsum board okay Let's go to paint or plaster. Insert the gypsum wall board. Replace. Okay, right click, rename. Rename it to uh, fiber cement board FCB. Okay. next for the neck uh, this one let's change the thickness to 0 0.019 so this is the double firing metal frame okay go to material library select the AEC material metals for the iron or let's say use the iron gas insert right click rename name it double firing <coughs> okay next the last one let's change the thickness to Point zero thirty six. 
select a material okay right click duplicate uh, name it uh, carrying channel okay 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 next let's go to fascia duplicate rename the fascia to light tray fascia <coughs> okay double click select the profile look for light tray profile okay materials select the materials let's use the fiber cement board or the FCV so it's same materials with the ceiling okay next let's go to first floor ceiling plan select the roof select the roof soapit okay select the second floor level yes okay now let's create the ceiling or the soapit draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner okay next change the offset value to 0.6 <coughs> pick here space okay then pick on the other corner okay lines change the offset to zero Okay, draw a line here and one here uh, let's make this equal dimension <coughs> and check equal okay then draw a line or pick lines uh, offset point three okay offset pick 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 and pick next delete this line or undo okay uh, slice or sl so slice this line here 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 and here next trim trim the corner trim and join elements okay trim join trim 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 the corner okay and join trim and join trim okay next delete this line go and do delete first the dimension delete the lines Okay, finish the soffit or the ceiling. Let's go to section. Okay, select the soffit, change it to 4.5 fiber cement board. Okay, next, let's go to 3D. Select the ceiling or the soffit. Okay, isolate element now go to roof select the fascia select the light tray fascia select the bottom edge okay select the bottom edge okay <coughs> rotate the view 
Okay, select the bottom edge. So we have the light tray. Okay, select. Select the bottom edge. Okay. Next. Um, <coughs> reset temporary height isolate. Okay. Let's go to section. Okay. Good. So you have the light ray ceiling. Okay. Next, let's check the perspective. <coughs> okay, one more. Let's go back to first floor ceiling. Okay, make sure you change your graphic display to wireframe. Select the roof socket. Second floor level, yes. Now select the roof, the, the socket, the 4.5 millimeter fiber cement board. Pick at this corner and this corner. Okay, pick here and here. Pick, pick. Okay. Next, go to the section. Okay, change the height offset from level to say zero. Okay, let's change this to point ten. Okay, three D view. Okay. Done. Thank you.